Driver This Week in Music, the brand new trailer for Wicked featuring, featuring Ariana Grande is out. Plus, we're going to take a look at Beyonce's new music and the rise of Noah Khan. For more on these stories, Shannon Burns from iHeartRadio is with me. She Burns, she Burns. Here <laughs> we go. You ready? ready? Beyonce is back, uh, obviously surprising everybody by announcing those two songs during the Super Bowl. Let's take a listen to one of them. This ain't Texas. Ooh. Ain't no hold em. Hey. So lay our cards down. Your Lexus Ooh. and throw your keys up. Hey. Stick around, round, 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 round. Beyonce. I have seen this. I love the sound of this. What do you think? Oh, I absolutely love it. I, my focus was on the Super Bowl, but then as soon as this was announced, I was like, wait, it's just shifting towards Beyonce. Yeah, announcing two new songs and then releasing those two songs, and then on top of that, announcing her brand new album that's going to be coming out at the end of March is insane. So and good. shifting towards country, which is massive. But she's had a country song before, Yeah, right? she's performed with the Chicks, so a lot of people think maybe the Chicks will be a part of this new album too, or maybe some Casey Musgraves. Who knows who she'll pull in for this? Yeah. But I do think that we are, I think it's going to be a full country album. I was going to ask you, do, is that the speculation that's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, especially because she was seen wearing a cowboy hat at the Grammy. So people yeah. are like, what is going on here? Why are you wearing a bolo? Um, so the fact that she's released two country songs back to back, I just it, I think it's, it's going to so be a great. country album. I yeah. love the sound of this. Yeah, I okay, do too. So I think it's that. really cool that she's really taken on the, the like classic country sound. So cool. Okay, let's shift gears to Noah Khan, who is taking the music in industry by storm, really. His hit song, Stick Seasons Everywhere. Let's take a listen to that as you promised me that i was more than all the miles combined you must have had yourself a change of heart like halfway through the drive because your voice trailed off exactly as you passed my exit sign kept on driving straight and left our I had never seen him before. Yeah. I heard his voice. It sounds a lot like James Blunt to me. Totally, right? yeah. Um, so let's talk about um, his rise. I mean, it's been pretty awesome. Yeah, last year, not a lot of people knew Noah Khan's name, and now he's everywhere. He was nominated for Best New Artist at the Grammys. Um, the song Stick Season has just been at the top of the charts, especially in the UK. It's been on the top of the charts for like seven weeks now. He's wow. been collabing with so many artists. Casey Musgraves is one of them. Uh, Hosier. Uh, he's just, yeah, he's been doing everything. Brandy Carlisle. He just did a duet with Post Malone. Post Malone. So every single artist, I think, has been hearing his music and has been like, okay, I want a piece of this. I want to yeah. see what Noah Khan's all about. His ticket's impossible to get. I tried really? to get tickets for Toronto. Impossible. But it's really cool. What I like about cool. pop music is that there's so many different genres that can rise and fall. And I think we're really yeah. seeing a, a resurgence of folk music right now. I also really love the fact that artists are going, they're sort of like fluid between one genre and another and everyone's just embracing. Yeah, kind of like changes. what we were talking about with Beyonce. Yeah, it's, it's like really you can... Cool dabble into country, but yeah. then still do pop and R&B. It's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, speaking of fantastic, Wicked, the trailer has just dropped. Let's take a look at it. The best way to bring folks together Something has changed within is to give them a real good enemy. Ah! You're green. <sighs> One of my favorite musicals ever. Uh, tell me more. Yes, oh, I got goosebumps just watching that. So Cynthia, Cynthia Arriva, who we saw there, Ariana Grande, yeah. um, who has said for, since she was a kid, she's been wanting to do something around Wicked. So this is definitely a dream come true for her. And also just a dream come true for a lot of people who have watched the play, who have been waiting well over a decade for a movie version of this play to come out. So I think they're really coming in strong. Uh, it's gonna be massive. And this is only one of two Wicked movies That's that right. are coming this is like out. part one, right? Yeah, part one. So we have to wait until the end of November and until it actually comes out, but yeah. the fact that we already have our first look at the Wicked movie oh is gosh. so exciting. And the voices, the powerhouses, just so oh, I know. awesome. The songs are gonna be unreal. So unreal. Uh, Shannon Burns, always good to see you. Yeah, thanks good for to see stopping you. by. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.